God bless you, family. King Jesus bless you guys. I pray he is blessing you greatly today. Guys, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, I see a lot of familiar faces in, in my chat uh, comments. And then I see some who I haven't seen in a while sometimes dip in there. And it just makes me think, like, um, I appreciate you guys so much. And the Lord has uh, blessed me with you. Um, I pray for you guys each and every morning. And sometimes additionally uh, through the day as I think about it. And I know you guys are praying for me also. So it's so humbling. Um, I really wanted to say thank you. I appreciate you guys a ton. We are the body of Christ. We're like family. And um, in glory, I can't wait to meet you guys. And I, I pray it's like that, that I get to meet you <clears throat> and see you guys. Uh, you know, and just put that, that physical glorified flesh face to our our uh, communications and our conversations. So thank you guys. I love you very much. Okay, I wanted to share um, some things I've been seeing lately. And I've alluded to this before about the number two. I've been seeing things in twos lately and uh, other additional um little signs that are just the Lord is winking he is helping us um, let's continue to keep our eyes open so we can see these encouragements from the Lord so when we get to glory and we see Christ Jesus we can put these things together and be like hey Lord were you doing those things to help and encourage me and you know I don't think he's gonna quizzically look at us like no those things just happen he's gonna be like yes which ones did you see and we'll tell him and I'll be like yep 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 and you know um, so let's be looking for it we need these encouragements all right, so I've been seeing the number two come up in many things lately. Okay, uh, yesterday, I think it was, I saw two baby deer by the side of the road. And uh, down here in Florida, in Minnesota, I'd see deer a lot. And um, But down here in Florida, I, I think I've seen some deer maybe one other time. It's not very common. And I saw two. And it's in, this is in context of seeing twos lately. <clears throat> and then today... Um, at work, um, I saw two birds. Just I think they were up on the the uh, back of the warehouse together. Yeah, they were um, just twos. And um, okay, and then here, where I sometimes after work I'll drive to a place here behind some businesses, and I saw two birds, little ones, come swoop and like land right next to my car here uh, in twos. You know, and just kind of look at me, and when I rolled down the window, one of them kind of perked up and looked, and then they flew off. Okay, so twos and twos and twos, all right? And then also for one delivery I made today, it had 77 units of product that I delivered. I saw that on the receipt, and I'm like, oh, look at that. Seven is the number of biblical perfection. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Okay, and then lastly, <laughs> I saw this red dump truck, and it said right on the back, it said, God is good. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is just, uh, everything is from the hand of King Jesus, and he loves us so much. And um, I appreciate when the Lord sends me these signs. Okay, so with all these twos that I've been seeing, I did a quick search um, online. And I wanted to read a few things that, um, biblically speaking, talks about the meaning of numbers and the number two. Okay, so the number two conveys the meaning of a union. Okay. Uh, for example, man and woman, though two, they're made one. There's also a union of two between Christ and the church. So I thought that was awesome. Could the Lord be winking at me saying, this union, Christ coming to get us, the banquet, the marriage feast in heaven, union. The Lord is sending signs. I'm looking. I hope you guys are looking. Okay. Uh, the testimony of God is divided into two testaments, the old and the new. Perhaps the Lord reminding us, like read the whole <clears throat> counsel of God's word. The old showing, um, being revealed in the New Testament. Or what is it? The, uh, the new is concealed in the old and the old is revealed in the new. Everything pointing to Jesus but working in concert together. Uh, his agreements, the Lord's agreements with mankind are divided into old and new covenants. Okay. Adam, the first man, sinned and brought death and destruction. Jesus, however, the second or last Adam, brings hope and resurrection and eternal life. Could these be why the Lord has shown me so many things in twos? Okay. 
Also, conversely, those who ultimately refuse to repent and obey God will be put to death forever by being thrown into the lake of fire, which is called the second death. Okay, and this will uh, eternally divide those who are righteous from those who practice evil. So could it also be the Lord is coupling that with that sober message of, you know, Kevin, there's only saved and unsaved at the end of the day. <clears throat> so when others hate us or attack us or offend us, let us be thinking of that. It's like, well, you're not a brethren if you're behaving like that, so you're lost. So it's like, you poor soul, help us have compassion and be able to still kind of go into another gear and be like, I got to bless this person. I have to help them. Okay, so that's some things I wanted to share about, too. Union. Um, I like that. It makes sense. Jesus sent out his disciples in groups of twos. That's good. We're never alone out here. Very encouraging. Um, the word God appears in all books except two. Hmm, that's the books, the Song of Solomon and Esther. That's interesting. Uh, the shortest verse in the Bible, Jesus wept his twos. His two, two words. The Lord created two great lights, the sun and the moon. I've been talking about this lately with the solar eclipse. That's why I don't believe the moon is rock that reflects light from the sun. It gives its own light, just like God's word says. All right, I think I'll pause with that uh, on the twos, but I just wanted to um, hit on that. Okay, guys, I want to close with some excerpts from an article I saw today from Harbinger's, um, Harbinger's Daily. Right here. Um, by, um, I'm just going to read some, some excerpts from it. This article written by a guy named Steve Miller. If the Bible had no prophecy, there would be no end in sight. This is great. You know, the Bible prophecy is so effective and so helpful. When I saw this, I'm, I knew right away what it was talking about. Right? If the Lord didn't give us almost a third of Scripture being Bible prophecy to help us uh, anticipate things, especially the time of end times, we'd be like, how long is this going on for? This is terrible. We would lose hope. We would perhaps get into sin and distraction. Um, okay. Imagine the Bible with no prophecies. Suppose God had decided not to tell us anything about the second coming, ultimate victory over evil, and our future home in heaven and eternity. So, if God had left prophecies out of his word, we'd have no idea what the future holds. Uh, you know, we would just experience this living and descending deeper and deeper into darkness, evil, and hopelessness. Okay. But God chose to provide us with glimpses of the glorious future that awaits us. Okay, so you guys get the gist of it. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I wanted to read a few scriptures he presents in here. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, encourage one another with these words. Right, so since we know how the story ends, um, and Paul writing this in context of the chapter about the rapture, 1 Thessalonians 4. So Paul, can you imagine he's building people up saying, knowing that the dead in Christ will go before you and then you're going too. Jesus himself coming to get you. You're gone. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. I hope I encourage you when I remind you of things that, that you should know if you're a follower of Jesus. Um, I just say it to remind you. Uh, we do live in that fallen world. It's good to have an eternal focus. Romans 5.12 Just as sin came into the world through one man and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. All creation is subject to futility. All of nature is in bondage to corruption. <clears throat> Sin is the reason that life is filled with pain and trials. In this world, you will have tribulation, John 16 tells us. But the encouraging piece, Jesus says, Take courage, I've overcome the world. Wow. So so, so many things. Bible prophecy and just the words of Jesus. <laughs> oh, we're, we're so provided for. And the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us, right? That's a fantastic um, <clears throat> perspective to take when we go through the hardest of things. Nothing compared to the glory, the blessings, the glorified flesh we're going to get, the eternal life, living in a perfect, beautiful place. Yeah, let's remember these things. <clears throat> okay, so Paul writing further, we now see in a mirror dimly. Um, yeah, we don't see it yet, but we know there's a day coming when we will see it. We will get it. Um, and then just, just the battle of um, fighting the flesh. I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. I do not do the good I want. 
Yeah, and further in that chapter, Paul goes on to talk about how wretched man that I am, who will save me from this body of death? Praise be to God for Christ Jesus, okay? Uh, this is fantastic. So, all right, that's the gist of it, and, and you guys understand what I'm saying there. So, let us be bold in um, preaching to the lost world, right? Uh, knowing that we, we're, we're guaranteed we're going to cross that finish line. It's going to be fantastic, but uh, there's many who are perishing, and I know you guys have a similar spirit as I do as well regarding this uh, this matter. So, all right, guys, I think that's what I, all I have for you today. So keep your eyes open, especially for these signs and these winks from the Lord. Let me know if you guys are seeing things in any number sequence pattern. I think the Lord is very mathematical um, in, in everything that he does, it seems. So I'd love to hear from you on that. Guys, thanks for watching my video. Please hit the thumbs up and share my video. And I will see you next time. God bless you.